Guys, to start off this DIY, you will need a pair of scissors and a used sweater beforehand. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to cut the sweater sleeve along the edge and I'm just going to cut that right off the sweater. Tracky. Once I've removed the sleeve from the sweater, I'm going to decide which side I want the top to be and which side I want the bottom to be. Grabbing my dog for a short minute, I'm going to measure where I need to make the armholes. And I just did this by eye, but you can use a ruler if you feel fancy. I just wanted to get this done quick because I wanted to show how simple it is and how much you can like estimate and manipulate what you use to measure. So yeah, I'm just using a pen marking off where I think the like, hole should be. Tracky. My technique for cutting out leg holes was to go ahead and stick my arm through the sweater to make sure I'm not cutting both um, layers of the sweater, but then I'm just cutting one, and then I went ahead and pinched the circle marking that I made in half, made a little hole, and now I'm just cutting right along the circle, so that's what you guys can do. Wow! <laughs> Now, the next step I did was optional, but my dog's got a little bit of a chunky neck going on, so I went ahead and cut off some of the excess hand part of the sleeve. I don't know what this is called. It's gathered up. It's tight. I don't want to choke my dog out, so I went ahead and cut off some of that. Flipping the dog sweater back to the front, I went ahead and created a diagonal triangly design. I don't really know what to call this. It's just where the top's taller than the bottom because I feel like my dog's more comfortable than that and you see more like that in stores than you do like, anywhere else. So why not? If you guys want to see how I cut it then go ahead and let me know down below in the comments and I'll do a separate video doing that but I just cut it off camera because I want to make this short for y'all. You can leave it how it was, whatever. You can do whatever you want. You can make polka dots in it if you want. sticking it over your dog's head let me tell you this is the hardest part for me because i really don't want to hurt my dog so as you can see i took my sweet ass time and i made sure that i was very gentle and very caring for my dog Tracky. this will probably go on all of your dogs a little bit easier but my dumbass forgot to take off her collar so it was a little trickier getting her around the collar and onto her neck. And there we go. Now I'm just straightening it out a little bit because why not? This is the completed sweater. Um, I just realized my camera is not going to pick up the full sweater because I didn't, I wasn't in focus. That's okay. This is how it looks on her. I like it so much. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!